Hi guys, this is Mary McDonald and I'm back at Hogwarts University and honestly it feels really good. So our prompt for this week was just to talk kind of about how our summer was, etc. You know, the question you get all the time when you come back to school after summer since forever. But you know, it's still a good question to ask and definitely something we can get caught up on. So I actually had a pretty good summer. Um, nothing to complain about really, it was fun and relaxing, but I'm excited to be back. Um, okay, well let's see. What did I do? Mostly I did a lot of work. Um, I work at this really cute bed and breakfast in my hometown and, you know, clean and cook, etc. It's really nice though. Um, I don't have to deal with a bunch of annoying people, like some of my other friends who have retail jobs, so that's pretty awesome. Um, see, so that was kind of the main thing, but I have money now, which is good, and I will spend it wisely. Um, I also went on a couple trips. Um, I went to Washington, D.C., which was really fun, and... I was very interested in the historical values of our capital, because, you know, me, total history nerd, um, which was really cool, and just seeing all the buildings and knowing everything that had happened there was really awesome, so I'd wanted to go for a long time, and that was super fun. Um, I also went to Las Vegas, yeah, and it was kind of hard to imagine me in Las Vegas, and trust me, it's hard for me to imagine myself there as well. But a couple of my friends wanted to go from home, and so we went. And, you know, it's Las Vegas, right? Obviously, we were too young to even, you know, play any slot machines or anything, so it's mostly walking around so many casinos. Oh my god. But not as much interesting history there, mostly just a lot of cheap stuff. But, you know, it's, it's great for some people, right? Um, yeah, I also went to amusement park with my friends. Also not my favorite place, you know, um, really hard to find a good cup of tea there, right? But it was fun, and you know, spending time with friends is all that really matters. So yeah, I did that. I worked, hung out with people I, you know, hadn't seen all year because of school. Um, nobody from my hometown goes to Hogwarts University, which is, you know, kind of too bad, but yet I like my friends there a little bit more, so, you know. It's really nice to be back and be able to see them again. Um, mostly I had a lot of boredom over the summer though. I mean, you know, when I'm here I just have so many classes and my friends are really awesome and they're so fun to hang out with and there's always something to do. But at home, you know, when I'm not working or on a trip or occasionally hanging out with some friends, you know, I just get pretty bored. So I read a lot. A lot of reading, um, learned a lot of new fun facts. Also, in an effort to make my videos, you know, a little more interesting to watch, because, you know, you gotta watch all of them flow quick, and I just kind of feel bad for you, I'm gonna make a new segment for all my videos called Mary Tells You Stuff You Really Didn't Need to Know, but now you do, so that's cool. Anyway, so here are some fun facts about summer, because, you know, it's kind of the theme of this video. I don't know. Anyways, here it is. Fact number one. In the United States, over 650 million long-distance summer trips are made. That's a lot. Fact number two. In the summer heat, the Iron and Francis Eiffel Tower expands, making the tower grow more than six inches. Fact number three. This one is really interesting, kind of weird. Summer babies are more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD and are less likely to become CEOs because summer babies are like typically the youngest children in each school class and their like relative immaturity can affect the quality of their attention and their education. It's pretty weird. So uh, don't have your kids in the summer. Not that there's anything wrong with having ADHD, because there's not. And you can still be super successful. Fact number four. Studies show that men are more likely to cheat during the summer months. Oh. So, you know, Alice, keep Frank on a leash. I'm just kidding. Frank would never do anything. He's the best person in the world. You're, you're adorable, guy. Okay, th this one might be my favorite. The dog days of summer. 
you know, you've ever heard that expression, like, it's the dog days of summer. It refers to the weeks between July 3rd and August 11th, and they're named after the dog star, or Sirius. Because the ancient Greeks blamed Sirius for the hot temperatures, drought, discomfort, and sickness that occurred during the summer. It's all your fault, Sirius. So that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, summer, you know. I'm just really excited to be back, honestly. Because Hogwarts University is where I really feel at home. You know, even more than my actual home. So, anyways, it's good to be back and good to be in psychology again with you, Professor Flitwick. You're awesome, that's why I'm retaking it, even though it has nothing to do with my major. Much to my parents, not that much excitement, but okay, I should stop talking. Bye!